I'm a church, baby. I ain't bugging. I ain't bugging. Come here. You just gotta give me a kiss on the cheek, dude. Just like before, back in the day when I go out with all my wild buddies, she had to give me a kiss before I left because I was a crazy bastard. Oh, shit, was I crazy. <laughs> How many mamas we got out here? Woo! Oh. Your baby's old enough to be crazy yet? <laughs> oh, shit. You know, that's why That's why with, with, with all the success you guys have, um, you know, given me the opportunity to have, I make sure my mama gets whatever she fucking wants, dude. Whatever she wants. I told her one time. At one time, I went to that. Look, listen, to this. I went to this. I went to this meeting, right? It was a, a meeting for a record label, and I already knew I wasn't gonna do it. I just like to go high and fuck with them, see what they do. Well, just so, just so happens, I had fucking poison. You know what uh, poison sumac is? It's like poison ivy, but this shit stays on you forever. Yeah. Well, my stupid ass done fucking scratched myself and got it all over my arms, right? Got these ugly ass bubbles and shit all over me. I was like, I'm gonna go anyway. So I bandage my arms up. I go to this meeting with this guy with a jerry curl. And uh, we have the meeting with him or whatever. I end up saying no, but while he was there, he's like, listen, Mr. Upchurch, we could make you this and we could make you that. And let me show you my collection of cars. So we went down this little fucking area and he showed me this ugly ass yellow Ferrari and some other shit. I was like, I'm about to leave this bitch and go buy a Lamborghini and make it OD military green, son. <laughs> Boy, did I ever almost throw up after a fucking purchase in my life, dude. I had to drive it down a gravel driveway in the rain after I got it home. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna do $60,000 worth of damage before I get this motherfucker to my house. So now it stays in my securities house and I don't really drive it that much. I've been, I've been stunting that fucking Tahoe, baby. <laughs> Hey, don't, once you, hey, boys out there, this is about 17, 18, 19, listen, whatever truck you had in high school, when you're my age and you're about 30, you're going to want to get a wild hair and go buy one of them motherfuckers again yep. to go ride around your town and feel that feeling. And hey, there ain't no fucking shame in it, son. Ain't no shame. Mine's already got two blunt burns in it, fuck it. <laughs> now. I wasn't playing, there's two songs on this list I wasn't planning on playing. But I was like, you know what? They're brand new, they ain't really out yet. I'm gonna sing them. Now this one, I dedicated to our United States military. And I did it for a reason. I know there's a lot of y'all out in this crowd tonight. How y'all doing? And I know you hate hearing it, but thank you for everything you've done for our country, man. Seriously. Because without them, we wouldn't be able to have these gatherings and be the free motherfuckers that we are. So this song is called Miss My Buddies. So I hope you brought your buddies. And I hope y'all feel this song in your fucking heart, man. Because when I wrote it, I was thinking about you guys and everybody out there that has to go through a time where they have to be away from their buddies or where they get separated from their buddies without their, you know, without, how do you say that? Without wanting to. So this is for all. Let's get it.
Ramos. We got those. Say goes most of the time. <laughs> My, you gotta let us.